When I wake up in the morning, when the sun comes out to shine, I'm feeling fancy, I'm feeling fine, I'm watching the nine at nine. Oh, hmm. that was lovely. All right, number nine, this guy's developed a truly original talent. He can balance rocks in water. His name is Manu Topic. He lives in France. He says his goal is to create equilibrium. Uh, hmm. Jeffrey, what do you use this to be? Oh, just I balancing see. them with rocks? Is he gluing yeah, them? No, I'm mm -hmm. just balancing. I'm sure I pronounced his name wrong. Yeah, I'm sure there's a French I accent, do. which is not my strength. There's no way that one's staying. No, give Come him time. On. Just wait and watch. Come Kaboom. On. There you go. Are you kidding? Well, he's got nothing but time. Yeah, and he's sitting in the water. Yeah. Wow. How do you find the right fella. rocks, though? I yeah, mean, years of practice, Robin. You can find him on Instagram at Manu Topic. There you go. Wow. wow. Good way to spend your afternoon. What a gift. Yeah. Uh, number eight, there is an island in Scotland that's in need of a caretaker, and that job can be yours. Isle Martin is uninhabited with no full-time residents, but in the summer, it's popular with tourists. The new caretaker would be responsible for keeping the beaches clean and managing some business. One business is a micro-museum that's actually a tiny hut with some random stuff in it. The other business is a pop-up cafe. People are invited to apply for the job uh, solo on the Isle Martin Facebook page, but couples are also invited to apply together. The jo oh, the job is volunteer and doesn't uh, really pay, no, so it's really huh? not a job then. It's, uh, no. it's public service. Yeah, but you gotta work the cafe, you gotta cook right. for people but and make you coffee. you get to live rent-free on the island. Well. That's, you got to clean up the beach. You got to run the yeah. museum. Yeah. You got to cook for people. Seems like what? A lot of work. A lot yeah. of work. Thank you. It's going to be right. my tagline. <laughs> uh, a lot of work. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Number seven. It's going to be hot out, and you might uh, be having an ice cream cone or two. But don't make the mistake I uh, made this last summer when I gave ice cream to all the dogs in my neighborhood. I figured a scoop of vanilla wouldn't hurt the pups, but it turned out that my uh, it, but it turned my street into a doggy diarrhea <laughs> doomsday. Uh -huh. Sorry, Larry, Larry. Anyway, dog scientists say instead of ice cream, try freezing a banana or buy special dog-friendly ice cream. Another suggestion, a small scoop of plain Greek yogurt that actually helps with digestion. Oh, yeah. Dogs need probiotics, so that's good to give them. Really? That, that does... They don't tolerate dairy. Believe anything, frankly. Yeah. yeah. Believe anything. That's not making them happy. Yeah. Anything will make them happy. It's yeah. true. Pat, do you give a lot of special treats? No, no. My... <laughs> My dog has allergies to food. Oh. Of course, she does. So yeah. no shrimp. No, no, <laughs> no nuts. <shrimp. laughs> yeah, I haven't given her a peanut in years. Peanut butter sandwich is no. It's not something I ever thought of. Oh it's yeah, it's a high allergy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thing, yeah. Okay. All right, number six. Uh, hey campers, have I got the thing for you? This is a windproof, waterproof match that Ooh, burns what? for seven minutes. It's called the Stormproof Sweet Fire. You get 26 in a box. It's made from a byproduct of sugarcane production that's used around the world as a sustainable biofuel. You can use a stick to start a fire in even the worst conditions, wow. or you can just set it down and let it burn for a little light. Like just it. make sure you keep the box dry. The matches will still work, but you'll have to dry them with a towel mm. first. Huh. Well, that sounds like a game changer. It sure does. Yeah, yeah. For all the camping you do, forget right? about it. Well, it's going to change your whole world. Every time I watch Survivor, I kept are they going to get the flint? Are they going to get right, the flint? Right. You know? yeah. and flint it's like, and tinder, yeah. And even that's not a, a, definitely a go-to. you got to get the spark in the right yeah. spot with the kindling. It's a lot, well, yeah. a lot of work. Hmm. All right, number five. There are lots of 90s sitcom stars on Cameo right now, and for a few hundred dollars, they will deliver a personal message to fans. And if you're lucky, you might get a message from this guy. Fostering waist, deep by swing vents in the back, perfect for jumping into a gondola. How do you know all that? That's my coat. You mean? Yes. I'm Jay Peterson. <laughs> then in the distance I heard the bulls and I began running as fast as I could 
Fortunately, I was wearing my Italian Capto Oxford. <laughs> Sophisticated yet different without making a huge fuss about it. <laughs> Rich, dark brown calfskin leather, matching linen vamp. Men's hole in half sizes, 7 through 13. <laughs> Price for money. Oh, that's not too expensive. I like that shirt. Where did you get it? Oh, this innocent looking shirt has something which isn't innocent at all touchability. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy, silky. Uh, Dan O'Hurley is listed on Cameo as his character Jay Peterman from Seinfeld, otherwise known as the seventh most interesting man in the world. A personal message from him will cost you $199. Mm. Oh. All right, number four. Uh, how'd you like to work here? Oh, I thought it meant like, how'd you like to work here? But uh, how'd you like to work here? What you're seeing, it might be one of the scariest commutes we've ever seen. Check out all those stairs. It's the maintenance access staircase of Verosa Dam in Portugal. There's only one way into the building. It's by taking these steep stairs. Oh. People who use them say at some points it's just easier and safer to <laughs> scale the wall. What? Wait, it seemed like they should have planned a little better access, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Next time. Uh -huh. All right, number three, a lot of people like the idea of tailgating before a sporting event or a concert, but setting up all that stuff doesn't seem so much fun. That's yeah, a lot of work. Yeah, so this could be the answer. Oh. Towable tailgates. It's a fully loaded entertainment center on wheels, and it can be towed by a normal car wow. inside that uh, 6 by 12 trailer. There's a 55-inch TV, a home theater system, a satellite receiver, mini fridge, and a microwave. That There's also a thing that slides out really? with a 100-quart cooler and a four-burner grill. Wow. And in the back, there's a toilet. And it's only $17,000. Oh. So hey, look at the fun you'll have. Wow. Number wow. two, here's a quick one. This is the Secropia Moth. Whoa, it's North America's, wow. oh my Whee. sweet what a mother of that, baby. Pearl. This is America's largest native moth with a so. wingspan of seven inches. Come on. It lives for just two weeks. Wow, yeah, that's enough. That's you terrifying. You look that good. That's really all yeah, you, you should get. Yeah, you only two weeks. Why would there be a two-week lifespan? That just doesn't seem right. You don't have to invest a lot of time dating. Like you're looking that good, you're gonna get some yeah. action real right away, and then you die yeah. right afterwards. <laughs> Look at that. Two weeks. Oh. Where can I find these? We don't. I don't know. Right, I shouldn't say we don't gurney. know. Gurney. Gurney. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sure someone will tell me in my ear Look by out. the end of this hour, but I'm not sure. All right. Number one, yesterday in the list, Robin mentioned how she likes videos of people falling down and easy listening music, but Ooh. we put the two things together. Oh, oh boy, stand back. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Every time oh, no, it hurt. you are near. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> just like me. Oh, 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 oh. Be. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that hurt. Now they're all fine. Oh. We checked with every one of them. They're all fine, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. no, this is gonna hurt. Don't oh. do that. Oh, crying out loud. Oh. oh. Not on crutches, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh come on. Oh, with the kid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Why, it's a guilty pleasure. It I get is. it. I know. I'm going to tell you, I don't feel that guilty about enjoying it. Boy, the carpenters make yeah. everything nicer. <laughs> <laughs> the best is that the beauty pageant, because that's all you have to do is walk, right? It's tricky Kaboom. in heels. You try it. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to the producers for that uh, one. Well done. Wow, Fun. thank you. Oh. <laughs> well, it's like a holiday for yeah. you. Mm. Nine and nine.